This is a Haliaceae sacrophia. This is the largest moth found in North America and Canada. It's also called a silk moth. And, 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 never, and you never see them in real life. Yeah, we've never seen them. They apparently live in maple trees. They're yes. very common around them. Yeah. Where we live, we have a maple tree in our front yard, one in our backyard, and like almost all of our neighbors have them in their yards as well. And this is the first time I've ever seen one of these little guys. Yes. He's been spinning some silk around the rim of this bowl. My husband found him on the boulevard between the sidewalk and the street, and he was on his way into the road. We were afraid he was going to get squished. We didn't know what he was. So my husband put him in this little bowl, and we carried him into the backyard, and we put him under the maple tree after we found out what he was. You can see him by a little teeny tiny itty bitty little maple leaf. I love him! Are you going to name him? Yes, I'm going to name him Bob. I'm going to name him Bob. If he turns into a butterfly, can we have him as a pet? He's going to be a big moth. Oh yeah. He or she. It's going to be a big brown moth. If yeah. you look these guys up, they have really beautiful brown markings. Yes. And you can see him coming out of this bowl. And he, he has giant legs. Mm. I'm going inside. Oh, look at those interesting little yellow and blue spikes all over his body. That's really something. So yeah, we've lived here for over 10 years surrounded by maple trees. I've never seen one of these before. Here, let's see if we can get a shot of under his belly for you. Can you see that? Well, I haven't done a lot of research, so I don't know if he's poisonous or not. That's why we're not going to touch him. I'm not going to handle him. We'll check on him and see if he's ready to spin his cocoon. I don't think so because on the other pictures I saw, these spikes were really big and bulbous. And as you can see, they're just not at that point right now. But we'll come out and we'll try to find him. 